welcome back. As you can see, I'm not in my house. I'm in mine. We're in Allison's house. We thought it'd be fun to do a Bob Ross tutorial. We don't really have any artistic skills. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> if you are interested in doing this Bob Ross painting with us and failing with us, please. <laughs> You're more than welcome to. <laughs> the one we're doing today is called Sunset Aglow. It's from season 26, episode 12. Bob Roth. And it's just a happy little painting. I'm gonna have this tutorial with this going along with us so we can see how bad we're doing. We got the prime. We thought we were going to and then we kind of just did it, so I don't know. Wow. Nice. We're gonna make a lot of mistakes along the way. No mistakes, just happy accidents. But as Bob Roth said, happy accidents. Great priming job. We're gonna try to show you this along the way, but we don't have like a nice little easel or anything like he has. Cause, Cause we're, we're poor. <laughs> <laughs> we also don't have like a little palette to put all our pretty colors, so we yes, have a we paper do. plate. Bob Roth's approved palette. Yay. Okay. We also don't have really any of the colors he wants. We just have very generic Roy G. Bibb colors. So uh, we're gonna hope for the best. I think I'm primed enough. I think so too. Let's do it. Here we go. I go right into a small amount of the Indian yellow. Okay, just well, a Indian very small yellow, amount. So orange. <laughs> we'll go right up here in the sky and just like that. Yes. That's all there is to it. Just, just make little, little crisscross strokes, something like that. Okay. Now, without cleaning the brush, I'll go right into. Pause it. More crisscross strokes. There's nothing to it. Okay. I'm already messing up. A little bit of yellow ochre. Just. Yellow right into it. Don't even have to clean the brush. Wait, that's not yellow. That's brown. Red and yellow ochre. It's sort of a golden color. Golden. Pause. Pause. Let's just do yellow. Well, mix some yellow with the brown. Orange. Mix some of the. Yeah, that work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once again, without cleaning the brush, a little touch of the bright red. Pause. 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 Yeah, it yeah. looks like toast. You don't want to make it too crusty. Oops. Ah. What happens if it looks like brown? <laughs> wow. Perfect. Now, red. Wait, I'm not there yet. Oh goodness. What happens if your whole picture is a happy accident? Oh, now I don't have enough orange. Uh, <laughs> bright red. Okay. It's going right underneath the brown. This one makes me nervous because it's so bright. Yes, so this is if you mess up. The U S O L. You're done. You I don't think I went over far enough. I did not. Oh. Oh, he goes to the end of the game. Yeah, he goes oh. all the way. Why well, didn't go all the way with any of them? I don't either. Be very careful with it. I think I read don't need much. Well, now he tells us to be careful. There we go. We we'll just sort of blend that around like that. There. Okay. Tell you what, let's let's do the rest of the sky and let's let's use a lavender color. No, I'll just brush mix it here. I'll use oh, a little God, table. Oh, we have lavender. I just want to sort of dance this around a little bit. Just let it play and bounce. Here and there, and there and here, there, just wherever. wherever. Let's dance. Okay, because we just gotta dance. dance. We'll just have a. You just gotta dance. dance. You gotta dance. Just wanna dance around. Dance. Bob Ross has not led me wrong in my life yet, so never done me dirty. Now then. Oh, he's going all down in. Maybe I'll touch a little phthalo blue and just oh. hit it in there up ah. toward the top. Feel the vibe, blue. Okay. I want that blue against the green or the yellow here, or we'll get green. Oh, and we'll wash the brush. Don't put. Okay, he's washing after he does. Fun blue part of this whole yes, procedure. Shake it off. Dry brush. Let's begin blending oh, these oh, colors oh, together. Oh, oh, and then blend. Blue, then blend. Be chill with Bob Ross. I'm not stressed with Bob Ross. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look like it is. But it doesn't look good. Let's <laughs> blend them together. There. Because the liquid whites under there, you can Are literally the move and blend yeah. color. And that's exactly what we're doing. Ah! I'm just. Mine isn't blending. Mine's like already dried. Mine's kind of blending. Okay. I think we're blended okay. Paint that I've picked up without going through the whole cleaning procedure. In, in layman terms, that's called laziness. <laughs> Me too. Now then, today, 
Let's put some clouds up here in the sky. Oh, We're gonna all right. have a Let's sky that's that. just. This is why we can't do artistic things. It is literally all blended and perfect. Bob Ross, why are you stressing me? It makes it look so easy. I know, and it's not. It's really not. We're getting there. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the more I touch it, the worse it gets. Brush against a, a paper towel to be sure I've got all the excess paint removed off of it. Let's have a big cloud. Don't go away. There. I'm no. bright red with it. Shoot, let's That's make a not. firecracker. Sparkler. It just sort of floats around, has a good time all day. Just want to dance around, you said. One of the freest things in nature, I believe. So, just let them go. Okay. Shoot, let them have fun. Okay. Just decide where these clouds live in your world and put them in. Okay. Put them in. Put and don't just, out. don't just try to copy what we're doing here. Shoot. Shoot. Maybe over in here, there's some more. Whatever. 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 Very gentle, I'm soft little brush. Out. And just blend the base of that out a little bit. I like my cloud before they were blended. These just look so white and puffy. Okay, perfect. And you can fluff it a little bit, blend it. There. A little old cloud, or shoot, this is a big old cloud. It's just yeah, sitting right up in the sky. Out. I'm gonna put the least little touch of the of that bright red on there. Oh no! Putting in all kinds of gorgeous little things that just float around. There they go. There they go. Reach over here and get a touch of that lavendery color we were using. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just. Oh okay, okay, okay. We're doing okay. Okay, I think that's enough red for me. Yeah. Okay, and he has a little bit of lavender in it. Soft. You can just get in here and work all this color okay. without it all blending together. What did you say about? Of course, if you blend it long enough, it will just blend together. Yeah, see, that's what my problem is. But you can put all these things in there just by doing that. Maybe there's one. Go back to my pinks every once in a while. It's up to you, wherever. Wherever you make the decision. But isn't that brush fantastic for doing things like that? Absolutely. Or you can paint right over that firm paint that we already have up there. There. All right. I get carried away sometime. Yeah, you do. Take a little bit of that lavender color that was just a phthalo blue. Those are crimson. I don't have fan brush here. And maybe let's go up in here. All right, let's do this. Let's put a nice dark cloud in here. Okay, whoa. That contrast will, it'll sparkle. I'm still working on my other clouds. Oh, okay, I gotta fix this. I don't even wanna. I'm not doing the dark cloud. I'm gonna take some artistic I'm, freedom. I am, because it's probably going to lead into something bigger. Absolutely sparkle. There. Maybe we'll put a wild shape on this one. There we go. Back to my little blender. Now then, just softly, softly blend this a little. You don't have to do it much. And you can just bring it all together. Come right on out like that. Shoot, maybe there's some nice things happening down here. Just take that color that you picked up and use it. Let these things happen. Let them happen. And sometimes you can take you take a little of that bright red and white, and you can put a few little highlights up here just to dull everything down so it's not quite as distinct. Let's take some pure titanium white. Maybe in our world, maybe the sun lives right behind that big cloud there. So we can just take pure titanium white, and I'm just gonna use a knife. You can take your finger or you can take a brush, but I wanna push forcibly white paint right into there. I want this to be very bright. I'm just gonna go right over that and I'll put it back in if I decide I want it. See there, just blend it all together. Look at that, see that contrast? It just jumps right out at you. Shoot, tell you what, oh, we got the old blender brush going. Watch here, watch here, watch here. Let's take a little bit of that nice lavender color. And let's paint in a creation of just a, a happy cloud that lives right here. I'm just coming right along here and putting in all kind of little things. Hmm. 
I get carried away, I'm sorry. Let's have a little something down here on the bottom. Shoot, we've, we've wasted all of our time up here in the sky. Let's, let's put a little something. I'll just take a little of that lavender since it's going so nice. And let's go down here. And let's just put some of that nice lavender color down here. About like that. A little more of that lavender color. There. We're gonna just put that right down in here. Maybe, maybe we'll have a little mountain that lives wee oh, no, no, back no. in the distance here. We'll do a couple mountains. We'll have one that lives far away. This little mountain, he lives wee wee back here. Almost, almost to the edge of nowhere. And then just blend the base of it out. So all you see is a nice silhouette sitting there. Then we go up here, and here's a mountain. I don't want it to get too big. I like to paint big mountains, and I sort of have to physically restrain myself sometimes. Because I'll just let a mountain get right out of right out of painting. It just keeps on going. Just blending that out. Tell you what, let's put a little bit of highlight. I'll use a little bit of that bright red, little white. I don't want much highlight, just enough. So we see a little sun zinging right across there. Zing. Tiny little amount. Just a little zing. There it goes, a little bit more. Zing right there. There. See, that little bit of pink that you put in that just sort of makes it go with the painting. So it makes it just stand out. I like that. Let's have some fun. You know me. <laughs> I like trees. Let's make a tree. No! Maybe in our world, choo, 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 there is now. Maybe there's a little tree, happy little tree, and he lives right there. There he comes. This would be very dark, though. With this kind of sky, you'd almost have silhouettes here. Very dark. Maybe? Yeah. Why not? Have another one that lives right there. Is. Boy, that tree looks a little sickly. We may have to work on him. By sickly, I mean he, he looked like he had a bad year. <laughs> Me too, Bob. Let's take a little of it and just put it down here. I'm going to have some reflections in the water. Okay, but I, I and can't you even put them in any old way you want them. See? Just put in the tops, put in a few little indications. Looks like a whole bunch of trees. Maybe back here we can see the indication of a couple more little trees. They're sort of hid behind. Just putting on the background color. I'm gonna come along with a few highlights. We're bringing all those together. Oh. Okay. There. All right. There, I'm just looking for a little highlight color, but I want it to be mostly in the lavender hues. There. Boy, that's nice. It's not too bright, but it's just enough, to, just enough to pull it out. I'm going to take a little sap green, a little yellow, a little yellow ochre. This is cad yellow. Grab the Indian yellow, too. Now I want this to get a little black in there, too. I want this to be a dark green, dark green, dark green. And we'll come right along in here. Dark green, though. Don't make a bright, shiny thing this dark. And put the indication here and there and there and here. Some little highlights. Same thing over here. And I'm done. We're all done. He's so positive. I wish I was that positive. I'm okay with this because I know it's me. Are you happy with yours? I think mine looks amazing, so. Okay, I'm happy with mine too. Okay, well, we're gonna let these dry. I don't know if we'll do this again, but if we do, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, go over to Bob Ross's page and like and subscribe to him because his painting in his video <laughs> make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and we appreciate you watching and watching us struggle but it's okay happy accident guess i'll see you guys when i see you so bye bye